Okay, here we go. This is the beginning of chapter 3 on systems of equations. So first we need to know what a system of equations is. And it is a set of two or more equations. We'll start with two, then we'll do some work with three. Set of two or more equations in two or more variables. Okay, each equation models some sort of situation. Right? If it didn't model situation, we wouldn't have any need to look at it. Okay? So these are two or more equations in two or more variables. Each equation models a situation and typically the two equations are related. Two equations or situations are related. Like how much, um, how many tennis rackets are produced might be one equation, and how many tennis rackets are purchased might be another equation. Okay, so identifying solutions. A solution of a system of equations is the ordered pair uh -oh, the ordered pair which we also know on a graph an ordered pair is a point right that makes both equations true Okay. Also, this will be the point of intersection on the graphs. So, when a system, here we go, is two equations, for example, you graph those two equations, and where those two equations intersect, is the solution. Okay? To determine whether a point is a solution to a system of equations, right down here, you must test, whoops, sorry, um, you have to put the point in, you have to substitute the point into the equations to see if it makes the equations cr true. Okay? So to determine whether a point is a solution to a system of equations, you must plug the point, meaning the x and y values into each equation, right? So not just one of them, but into each equation to verify that the point makes the equation true. Okay? So if you want to find out if a point is a solution to an equation, you plug the point into each of the equations to verify that the point makes the equation true. Note slide number three. This is an example. Determine whether 1, 5 is a solution of the system. Okay, so to do that, we take each equation, x minus 4, oh, oh, I'm sorry, x minus y equals negative 4, and 2x plus y equals 7. We know that the point is 1, 5, and we also know that this is x, y. Okay, so we have x, which is 1, minus y, which is 5, 
is supposed to equal negative 4. Um, and so we know that ne this is negative 4 equals negative 4. Checks. That works. Okay, now we go to the other equation. And we have 2 times the x plus the y equals 7. I'm going to put this in a different color. So the x is 1. The y is 5. So we want to show that 2 plus 5. I'm going to change colors there. Hang on a second. Sorry. 2 plus 5 equals 7. And indeed, 7 equals 7. So we're good. It checks. OK? So 1, 5 is a solution to the systems of equations. If you graph these two equations, the point where the two lines cross would be 1, 5. On this slide, we read about uh, how to solve a system of equations, the first way we're going to learn, which is by graphing. So one way to solve a system of equations, of two equations, is to graph both equations and identify any points of intersection. The coordinates of each point of intersection represent a blank of that system. So a solution. To graph the equations, you can, one, use the x and y intercepts. You can solve the equation for y equals mx plus b and use the slope and intercept, y intercept, or you can make a table. Which approach you use depends on how the equations are given to begin with. You'll see that in a minute. Okay, before I start doing this, uh, I would suggest that you graph each one of these equations and see where they intersect. Make sure you use a ruler because if you don't, you won't get the exact um, point where they intersect. This is important. Use graph paper. So pause the video now, graph these two equations, and see if you get what I get. Okay, hopefully you did that. I'm going to use x and y intercepts here because um, these are in standard form. And when they're in standard form, the x and the y intercept, uh, I think, is the easiest way to do it. And that's going to be when x equals 0 and when y equals 0. So when x equals 0, the um, y value is going to be negative 1. And when y equals 0, the x value is going to be equal to 1. So there are two xy intercepts. So we graph 0, negative 1, and 1, 0. And we draw a line with a ruler. I don't know how this will work on the iPad. We'll try it. OK, there's our line. And when we draw these lines, we always label them. So along the line, I'm going to write x plus y equals 1. OK, now I'm going to switch over to the other line, which is x plus y equals 5. And I'm going to find the x and y intercepts. So again, when x is 0 and when y is 0, when x is 0, y is 5, and when y is 0, x is 5. So I'm going to graph 0, 5, which will be up here, and 5, 0, which is out there. Draw the line. OK, make sure you put arrows on both ends of that line because it goes on forever. I'm going to label this line x plus y equals 5. And then I look for the point where they intersect. So you'll see that when you graph, the point is going to be approximate, right? You want to get it as close as you can. But that point looks like it is 3, 2. OK, now I want to check and see if that point 3, 2 is right. So to check it, I plug the point 3, 2 into my equation. So this would be 2. I'm sorry, that's wrong. 3 minus 2 equals 1. That checks, because 3 minus 2 is 1. And for this the second equation, it would be x plus y, so 3 plus 2 equals 5. And that also checks, so we're good. The solution to this system of equations is 3-2.
3, 2. You write it as an ordered pair because it isn't an ordered pair. Don't write it any other way, okay? Okay, slide number 6. So again, I would suggest that you graph these two equations and then pa um, come back, pause the video, graph the two equations, find the solution, and then come back. Okay, so there are a couple of ways to approach this problem. First of all, these equations are in the form y equals mx plus b. So I wouldn't do x and y intercepts. I'd use y equals mx plus b. Now, it might be that you plow ahead with these two problems, graphing y equals mx plus b. The first one, the y-intercept is at 3. The slope is 2, so I go up 2 and over 1. Or I can go down 2 and over 1 and I draw my line. Okay, there's my line for the first equation. Put arrows on it, goes on and on forever. Okay, the second equation, if I want to jump over to that one, I see my y-intercept is negative 1. Oh, look at that, my slope's also 2, up 2 and over 1, or down 2 and over 1. I draw that line. Okay, so here is the second line with the y-intercept of negative 1 and the slope of 2. And after I graph them, I realize that they are parallel. So um, I could have realized that before I started if I'd looked carefully. So do you see this has a slope of 2 and this has a slope of 2? So I didn't really need to graph them. So the solution here. So the way I would say the solution is the lines are parallel. So there is no intersection, which remember was what we were looking for. Thus, the solution does not exist. Okay? Does not exist. So, this is how you find the systems of equations by graphing. Now, th these problems are much more interesting when you have words that go with them, so you know what these two lines mean, because if they don't mean anything, it's not very useful to be able to do this. So, you'll be experiencing um, later, after we get down the methods, we'll talk about how to do these um, with some word problems that actually give us the solution. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget that on the back of the pink sheet, you're also supposed to do try the chicken problem. And a hint on the chicken problem is that there is a small, a medium, and a large chicken, so pay attention to that. Okay, bok bok!